Dodo Chan, now is the Mac dead? Well, I hope not. I hope the Mac isn't dead. So if the Mac's not dead, it's definitely on life support. And will it survive? Is it actually a relevant product today? We're talking iMacs, Mac Pros, MacBook Pros, whatever. Are they relevant anymore? Now, this has nothing to do with WWDC and why they didn't release hardware there. I mean, it's a software conference. You know, everybody was hoping there was new Macs. I was, at least. And I've used Macs quite a lot in my life. From the G4, G5, I was actually using Macs when they swapped to Intel. One of my first videos on this channel was the MacBook Pro 13 unboxing. But Mac don't make a computer for a lot of people anymore. And I get this message nearly every day. And it's a variation of this message. And it's like, I used to use Mac, but now they don't make a computer for me. What is the best Windows PC to get? Or they watch one of my laptop reviews or whatever. And they say, I'm new here. I used to use Macs. Now I'm using Windows, so on and so on. I get that question or comment statement all the time. In fact, I think it's my most common question or comment I get, period. Like, there is no other question or statement that comes up more than that. And that's sad. That's really sad that these people, they are Apple fans. They love Apple. They want to buy a Mac, but Apple don't make a computer for them anymore. They're just lagging way behind. Just think about this. They have had 8th generation 13 inch laptops last year. From last year, we are now six months into this year and still the MacBook Pro 13 inch is still using seventh generation CPU, a dual core, and all the PCs started using quad cores in the same 13 inch form factor last year. The same with the iMac. The iMac is still quad core. It doesn't have Vega graphics yet. Desktop PCs were six cores last year and they're still stuck on quad core now. Now admittedly with the eighth generation CPUs for 15 inch laptops like the MacBook Pro 15 inch. They've only just come out. But you've got to remember, this is six months into this year and they had eighth generation last year and there's two more Intel processors coming out this year. And even if Apple do do an event within the next couple of weeks or the next couple of months, it's almost too little too late. And maybe they are waiting for the next generation. As I said, there's two new Intel processors that were formerly called Whiskey Lake or something like that. They're still eighth generation, they actually may be the replacement for the current 15 watt U parts that are used in XPS 13, Spectres, Surface Book 2 and X Carbon and stuff like that. They're probably going to have a new processor at the end of this year and Apple still haven't got onto the old one from last year yet. It's like Apple are doing the absolute bare minimum they can. And I think it's almost to a point where these people that want to buy Macs are forced to buy Windows. They don't want a Windows machine. They want a Mac, but they have to buy Windows if they want the latest processes, if they want the speed. And that's sad that your own supporter base, your own customers want to buy your laptop or iMac or whatever, but you don't have one that's relevant today. You don't have one that's up to date. And you're selling things at an extremely high price at the highest price point. iMacs are very expensive. MacBook Pros are some of the most expensive laptops you can get and they're using old parts. Not only is that sad that people are going to Windows just because Apple aren't making the computer for them and the people that say that Apple are waiting for specific chips and it's Intel's fault because of their roadmap is all over the place. And pull your head in mate. Pull your head in because Apple are waiting for the Iris graphics for the 13 inch MacBook Pros that stops them from making six core iMacs. There's no Iris version of the six core desktop CPUs, the 8700. There's no Iris version of that. So why aren't the iMacs up to date? Anyway, I just got that off my chest. I think it's really sad for people that want to buy a Mac and they can't because they're just falling behind. They cannot keep up with the pace. And for a company that has so much money, is supposed to be the richest company in the world. Seriously, that is really bad because they have the resources to do whatever they want, but they choose not to. And they're screwing their customers. And that's what's the bad thing. They don't care about Windows, what Windows are doing, what processes Windows are using, whatever. But their customers are crying out for these laptops, these iMacs with the eighth generation parts and they won't give it to them because they're incompetent and inept and it's just poor management. <laughs> it's just poor management, seriously. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next one. Tully ho.